Como se fosse teste Om Swastiastu. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nigrid Kristina Sukraini. And my name is Timadera Testia Chandra. And we are from SMA Negeri Satu Tabanan. And today we would like to present you our research entitled Implementation of Basil Tomato Intercropping Against Tomato Caterpillar or Helicoverpa arbica. The first one, introduction. We know that tomato is a high economic value plant. In its cultivation, the present tomato fruit caterpillar is one of the dominant obstacles. The damage cost was bad enough until in 2016 in Banjarnegara, tens of hectares of tomato fruits failed due to the caterpillar attacks. Various efforts to control tomato fruit caterpillar have been developed. Insecticides are commonplace because they are considered easy and fast. The prolonged use of insecticides will also cause resistance to the tomato fruit caterpillar. Therefore, more efficient and effective efforts are needed in controlling. Control in technical culture, namely by intercropping, has been proven to reduce risk in cultivation. Intercropping to tomato caterpillar control can be done by planting aromatic plants together with tomato plants. Basil plant is one of aromatic plants that contains broad-spectrum essential oils as fumigants, contact insecticides, Replants, antifedans, or affect the development, reproduction, and behavior of insect pests. Basil plant is widely used in Indonesia so that they have high economic value. So by intercropping tomato and basil cultivation, the cultivator can control tomato caterpillar and also improve their economy. The studies is regarding to intercropping of tomato with aromatic basil plant. It's still difficult to find the studies, therefore, Further research is needed, which aims to determine how the effect of the implementation of intercropping between tomato and aromatic basil plants on the level of attack of tomato caterpillar. The theoretics we use are tomato plant, basil plant as aromatic plants, insecticide, and intercropping. The objective of this research is to determine the effect of implementation of intercropping between tomatoes and aromatic basil plants on the attack intensity of tomato caterpillar. And the research questions is how does the implementation of intercropping between tomatoes and basil aromatic plants affect the attack intensity of tomato worms or Helicoverpa armigera. In a way of connecting the research, the method we use are library research, observation, and the last one is experiment. The research was conducted in Banyarunyu Tengah, Tunju Dabanan Bali, from 7 of September to 12 of October 2020. The experimental layout was arranged in a group designed with a separate sector pattern. First sector were for intercropping of tomato and basil plants, and the second sector were for monoculture tomato plants. The experimental sector size was 1 meter times 6 meters. Tomato plants were planted at a spacing of 40 cm with an intercropping system of 1 row beds. Basil was planted between the tomato plants at a distance of 80 cm, so first sector consists of 7 tomato plants and 6 basil plants, and sector 2 consists of only 7 tomato plants. The study used large varieties of tomatoes. The treatment of the two sectors was the same, namely land preparation, providing a covering roof, the age of basil and tomato when planted, providing nutrition in the form of burin, and the last one watering once a day. This research is quantitative. The study began with a literature study related to information related to tomato and basil plants, and the relation to controlling fruit caterpillars. The observation process began when the tomato plants were 28 days old, with an observation interval of 3 days. In each plant, data on the height and intensity of the attack of each plant in both sector were measured. The data collected during the study were analyzed using the independent t-test. Result and analysis. Plant growth. 
As you can see from the diagrams, the number of plants growing in the two treatment sectors was significantly different. The average plant height in the two sectors showed a difference between the treatment tested. This can be significantly seen in the first sector, which has a higher average growth than the second sector. Intensity of tomato caterpillar attack. From seven observation, there was an interaction between the pending system using control and its effect on total attack intensity of tomato plants. The first sector, the intercoping of tomato with basil, the average attack intensity is lower than the sector two, namely tomato plants grown in monoculture. This then shows that there is a role for basil in reducing the intensity of the attack tomato caterpillars on tomato plants. Comparison. In the second sector, in general, the result of the study was that tomato plants did not grow optimally and even tended to be damaged. For example, on the second plant, the plant wheels did the stem being out at by the caterpillar, causing stems and root not to grow, with a stem diameter of 1 mm and an measurable leaf diameter. On the sixth plant, the plant stem shows indication of being attacked by the caterpillars, spots appear on the stems, and the leaves are full of holes with not optional growth. The root color is darker than the tomatoes in the treated sector with a stone diameter of 1 cm and a leaf diameter of 3.5 cm. In the first sector in general, the result of the study that tomato plants were able to grow close to the maximum. Just for example, on the first plant there was no significant damage to the leaves and the stems. With bright root color and the stem diameter is 7 mm and leaf diameter is 4 cm. On the fifth plant has even a slight damage with near maximum growth, brightly colored root with a stem diameter of 1.5 cm and a leaf diameter is 6 cm. Now is the conclusion. The tomato plants in the treated sector have less damage intensity with a growth that closer to the maximum than the untreated sector. Along with that, from the studies, we also found that caterpillar not only attack leaves but also stem and roots. For the future work, we hope that in the future, our studies can be beneficial to the farmers. This research must be socialized to the farmers so it can be implemented. Compared to using expensive methods such as insecticide, besides not being environmentally friendly, it is also wasteful of money. Initially, basil requires more capital to buy seeds, but the results are better, environmentally friendly and can be resolved. So that's all and thank you. Om Santi 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 Om